Anyone who's suffered candidiasis knows how hard it can be to eliminate candida. It can appear more frequently in the mouth, ears, toenails, gastrointestinal tract, and vagina. Once you treat it, it can appear over and over again, making it seem impossible to cure from this condition. But this is not true. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal the best foods you can eat and the best diet you can follow to treat candida naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLaneNavar.com. In this channel as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line an appointment or quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLaneNavar.com. And I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm gonna reveal extra tips and video links related to this topic. Seven out of 10 people in the world have suffered candidiasis at some point in their lives. Especially nowadays with the widespread use of antibiotics, candida is becoming alarmingly common among people who frequently use antibiotics as a necessary form of treatment for the most varied of conditions. You see, antibiotics can kill off helpful bacteria that help guard you against candida overgrowth. Once that probiotic flora is gone, candida takes advantage of the situation and overexpands its territory in the body, overgrowing and causing candidiasis. Candida is a fungus, a form of yeast, that in very small amounts lives in our mouth, intestines, and genitals. But this fungus becomes a problem when it starts to overgrow and invade. It can lead to many different health conditions, from digestive issues all the way to depressions. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal the best foods you can eat and the best diet you can follow to treat candida naturally and effectively. I'm gonna divide this video into two very important parts. First, we're gonna talk about the best foods you can consume to treat candida, and the second part, the best diet you can follow if you want to cure your condition. It's important to apply both parts because one is complementary to the next. So part one, best foods you can consume to treat candida naturally. Number one, Apple cider vinegar. According to research, apple cider vinegar is an antibacterial and an antifungal agent that benefits candidiasis treatment. A 2018 study found that undiluted apple cider vinegar can prevent the growth of candida. It appears as if this opportunistic fungus doesn't like the substance. Consuming apple cider vinegar can make your body less hospitable to fungus, which means it wouldn't be able to grow out of control and cause an infection. There are many ways you can use it to treat candida. If you decide to drink it, make sure to dilute 20 milliliters of apple cider vinegar into 40 milliliters of water and have a sip every now and then during the day. Another very important way to use it is by adding apple cider vinegar to your salad dressings. Maybe dilute some uh, apple cider vinegar into coconut oil and pour it into your food, etc. Number two, coconut oil. Believe it or not, coconut oil has antifungal properties. This substance contains two very important compounds useful in treatment against candida. This is lauric acid and caprylic acid. A 2007 lab study found that coconut oil helps kill off yeast, and they found that candida albicans, which is the strain that causes candidiasis, was the most susceptible to the concentrated coconut oil they were using. In a later study in 2012, they found that coconut oil produces maximum results against candida albicans. So I suggest you try taking a spoonful of coconut oil every day for six months in a row to eradicate candida naturally. If you're a woman suffering from this condition, apart from taking a spoonful of coconut oil daily orally, you can apply it to your genital area on a daily basis. Number three, stevia. One very important characteristic we know about candida is that it feeds on sugar. And this is the reason why it's so important to reduce the consumption of sugar for the time being. Now we all know that food is not the same without a sweetener that can give that, you know, a little bit of flavor to the food we're eating. So if you really need to feel sweet in your foods, I suggest you add stevia. Stevia is a natural healthy alternative to sugar and a perfect choice for anyone suffering from candida. Stevia is an antifungal and anti-inflammatory compound that helps combat this fungus and at the same time balance out those pancreatic functions in the body. Stevia comes in liquid or powder form, so try to add some prudential amounts to your food without exceeding its use. Number four, leafy green vegetables. Leafy green vegetables alkalize the body and fights off all that acidic nature of yeast overgrowth. Plus, vegetables contain no sugar and high amounts of magnesium 
that naturally detox your body. They also contain vitamin C, which helps build that immune system, chlorophyll, which cleanses out your liver and your body, and B vitamins that energize the organism. Number five, unsweetened cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is great for kidney function, and in fact, it helps correct the pH levels of urine, helping prevent the overgrowth of fungi like candida. Let's not forget that one of the most common places to have candida overgrowth is the genital area. So cranberry juice will help you have a good and healthy genital environment. Try finding yourself a good organic source of unsweetened cranberry juice you can take frequently during the day. Number six, garlic. Garlic has tens of health benefits in medicine and is well known for its antibiotic qualities. Allicin is a major biologically active component in garlic. It has antibacterial and antifungal properties that are used in medical treatments and studies. I suggest you buy yourself some garlic soft shells that you can take easily without going through that, all that hassle and discomfort of eating grounded garlic with strong taste in your mouth. Number two, the candida diet. Number one, remove foods that are worsening your condition. Okay, so you already know what to eat, but the foods you should be avoiding are just as important. First and foremost, you need to remove all the foods that are literally feeding candida and encouraging it to flourish inside your body. So take note. The top offenders of yeast overgrowth include sugar, white flour, yeast, and alcohol. You see, one of the most accessible foods for candida are sugars, and every item I just mentioned are the number one culprits for fungus overgrowth in the organism. Avoiding sugars and excessive amounts of carbohydrates is an important part of the treatment. Candida cells need sugar to build cell walls, expand their colonies, and switch to a more virulent form of fungi. So be careful to limit your sugar intake with juices, coffee, carbohydrates, breads, etc. Number two, probiotics. Let me explain something before talking about probiotic foods or supplements. In case you didn't know already, our digestive system is full of bacteria. Most of it healthy bacteria that helps digest food, produce vitamins, absorb nutrients, and keep us healthy. Now, candida is a fungus that is limited by the growth of this healthy bacteria. And this explains why antibiotic use many times destroys healthy probiotic flora and lets candida overgrow, creating that annoying condition called candidiasis. Many of you watching this video might have used antibiotics at some point in your lives and probably saw candida explode and create an infection. And this is the reason why it's extremely important you eat foods that are high in probiotics or you take a supplement with a good probiotic formula on a daily basis if you want to cure your condition. Probiotics will limit the growth of candida slowly, but effectively. So Lactobacillus fermentum, Lactobacillus cassei, and Brevis are three specific strains of probiotics that have been highlighted in scientific research for their ability to fight candida. Some of the foods that are high in probiotic content are yogurt, kimchi, kombucha, pickles, etc. So if you decide to take a probiotic supplement, I suggest you look for the best quality available and take a capsule per day for at least 30 days in a row. Very important, do not ignore it. Number three, juicing. Juicing is an important tool you can use to create an alkaline environment in the body. You see, there are certain vegetables that can limit the growth of candida, and juicing is an excellent way to treat it. So I suggest you prepare yourself some morning green juice that contains celery, green apples, and a little bit of ginger every morning. This is a great way to help your body alkalize and combat candida, limiting its growth. If you'd like, try to add some berries to this mixture. Blueberries, cranberries, strawberries. All of them are great to combat this fungus. Help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or an online appointment, visit drlandivar.com. I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You're gonna find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.